Assalamualaikum to all the listeners. Today I am here with my new lecture, which is a past perfect tense. So today we will learn about this tense. Let's move towards the definition of it. Uh, let's see the next slide. Okay, so here we have the definition of past perfect tense. This tense shows that an action had been done in the past time. So the action had already been done in the past time. This is known as past perfect tense. For example, they had finished their dinner. Or we can say they had already finished their dinner. The another example is she had lost her car keys at home. So here we have had which help us in order to clear the sense. So it is helping verb. And after it, we have third form of verb, past participle form, as it is the perfect tense. A third example is, I had plucked some flowers from the garden. In our previous slide, we were discussing about uh, how about the past perfect tense definition and some examples. Now let's have the usage or let's say how we have both the tenses together, past perfect plus past indefinite tense. So here we have the definition of it, or let's say the other definition of past perfect tense, the tense which is used for an action that had occurred or done in the past and finished before another action or let's say past action that is called past perfect tense. Here in our first line, I was discussing that which is used for an action that had occurred or done in the past. So the action had already been occurred in the past and here before and the another past action. So here we have two actions. The first one is the perfect one and the second one which is the indefinite one or let's say that is the near uh, to present, near to a present that is past indefinite and that before that past indefinite tense we had past perfect tense. So here we have some examples. When Sarah's mother entered in her room, she had hung the painting on the wall. So before entering uh, or before the entry of Sarah's mother in her room, Sarah had already hung the painting on the wall. Here we have two actions. After when we have past indefinite and before past indefinite tense we have she had hung, Sarah had already hung that painting. In the second structure or let's say in our second example, Javier's father had ordered a pizza before her mother cooked food. So here we have both the tenses, past perfect tense with indefinite one. In the first line, we have past perfect tense. Hadia's father had already, uh, sorry, had ordered a pizza. And in the next line after before, we have past indefinite tense, her mother cooked food. So it is how we use past perfect tense with the indefinite one. So now we have done past indefinite definition examples and we have done with the merger of both the tenses as well. Now here we have past perfect with some time equations. Okay. So those are before, after, when, by the time or so on, whatever you want to use there. So you can add time equation in the past perfect tense. Here we have some examples. He had practiced a lot before he won the grammar competition. So he had done something for winning that particular competition. So in that situation, we can say the sentence. Here we have both the tenses. Let's say here uh, the second tense is an a indefinite one. And before that, we have the perfect tense. And here we use before, which shows the time. That first we had done this action and after that we had done that one. Now here in another, uh, in, or in another example, my mother had caught my friend when he was about to hide my copy. 
So here we have past perfect tense and here when shows the, the time. Before when we had an action, we have an action. My mother had caught my mother. When he was about to hide my copy, so my friend uh, was hiding my copy and before he you know, had done the work, that work, my mother had caught my friend. In a third example, by the time I reached at the cinema, my friends had already watched a movie. So we were deciding to watch a movie together, but when I arrived or I reached at the cinema, my friends had already watched a movie, the movie, the movie had ended. Here we have time expression with the past perfect tense. Let's have syntax in our, uh, in our next slide. Now here we have syntax of all four types with examples. The first one is affirmative one. Subject plus has plus third form of verb and then we have object. The example is, I had already done my task. The negative structure is, subject plus had plus not plus verb third form plus object. I hadn't delivered my speech. Maybe you, uh, you was ill and that is why you, you were unable to deliver the speech. In that situation, you could have this sentence. I hadn't delivered my speech because I was ill. Now we have the interrogative structure, head plus subject plus third form of verb, object, and then we have question mark. Had she found a mobile at a reasonable price? So maybe she was searching a mobile at a reasonable price, so then she could buy that mobile. So in that situation, we would have this sentence, had she found a mobile at a reasonable price or not? Now we have the last structure, which is negative plus interrogative one. Head, subject, not, and then we have third form of verb, plus object, and plus question mark. Had you not discussed your assignment with, uh, sorry, your assignment or let's experiment, with your science teacher, your mother would ask, ask this sentence. Maybe uh, you were not clear with the uh, with all the instructions of your teacher, and in that situation, uh, you didn't ask anything with your teacher. So your mother would ask this this thing. Had you not discussed your experiment with your science teacher? So here we have been with all the examples, with the usage, and with the definition, with the examples. So let's have some work, some homework. So your homework is, I have uh, written some uh, you know, sentences which are not completed. So what your task is, the task is to complete all the sentences uh, by using past perfect or indefinite tense because both the tense have already been done by us. So let's have practice of both the tenses. So take care to all the listeners, Allah Hafiz. Thank you for being the part of my lecture.